people are in? Uh, Polly Applebaum show. The real impact is upstairs. So maybe, you know, she's thinking about Joseph Albers uh, color studies um, here, but she's um, uh, using different subject matter. Now, when you think of Joseph Albers, you think of taking a square, nestling it in another square and another square uh, in this kind of ongoing uh, exploration of what one color does to another color. Um, but Polly Applebaum uh, is known actually for installations, um, something called that she's called Fallen Paintings, for instance, um, where she took fabric, stained, and cut into pieces, arranged it on the floor. Um, here you get a different sense of how there are all these different pieces of fabric brought together. And usually there's a kind of organizing principle. Um, she's been doing these all over installations. This was in LA at the Otis um, Art and Design College. Uh, and uh, you know, she had all these sort of ceramic beads and so forth. Um, and uh, kind of referred to, um, you know, there's this kind of like egg or eye or this kind of like all-seeing character. You know, she sort of builds a kind of idea around uh, or builds a, a show or an environment around an idea still. So let's, let's head on upstairs uh, and we'll walk right into uh, what she does with this idea. So if you want to step on the, you just have to cover your shoes. Um, but there's also a pathway all the way around, so you don't have to, uh, you know, actually step on the carpets, which were woven in Oaxaca. Um, and then, you know, all around are these ceramic pieces, which she's kind of described as portraits. And she gives a name to each one of them. So here on the, uh, the checklist on the, in the box, you can kind of uh, get an idea of the name. And some are friends, and some are um, not related to anybody she knows. Um, so in 1963, Joseph Albers' study, or Studies in Color are published. This author kind of book, Betty Friedan's Feminine Mystique, is published. So in a way, like taking this date also kind of opens up you know, possibilities for interpretation. But she talks about these ceramic pieces as a kind of a Greek chorus or a kind of backdrop of conversation, um, you know, around this, this topic. But here you see the central female character, and that comes from a book, they have a copy at the front desk, but it was um, published in conjunction with the symposium in 1963, um, and it was called The Potential of uh, Woman. And she has titled the show The Potential of Women. <laughs> so she's kind of um, altered it. The book was kind of patronizing. It was sort of saying, you know, what women are. You know, I mean, as if there's something that women are.